Well, hello there. This uh, quick video, it's, it might not be as quick as I want it to be just because look at all the stuff that I have to fill in. Um, but basically, hopefully the reason why you're watching this video is that you have the desire to know how to graph sine or cosine on a piece of paper. Well, I don't have a piece of paper in front of me here. What I have is this digital version. Um, I have a fake pen here. See that? Hopefully that's, oh it's blue. You'll probably be using a pencil. And what we can do to graph sine and cosine on the next page is we can look at all of these angles here and using a calculator in degree mode, I'll get that right now, my fancy dancy, this is my Windows calculator. Um, you can just do it one at a time. So let's find the sine of zero degrees. Okay, the sine of zero degrees is zero. So you just you just write that in there. And you keep doing that, okay? 30. And most calculators that are modern nowadays, you're just going to be typing it in as you see it. So it'd be sine 30. My calculator I'm using on this Windows laptop here, the default calculator acts a bit like the older style calculators where you have to type in the angle first and then you hit the trig ratio, in this case, sine. So, hmm. 0.7. I'm just going to round it off to the nearest tenth spot, so 0.7. And then I just keep doing that. 60. What's the sign of 60? And you keep doing that. 0. Point, I'm going to round it off to 0. 0.9. Sign of 90 is 1. And then you, you keep going. Whoops. Now, okay, so we, we could just keep going, but what I'm going to do is start to show you how this uh, curve, it's called the sine curve, is being formed, okay? So zero degrees and zero. So the degrees are along the x-axis here. Those are the degrees. And up here, up here on the y-axis are the numbers that we're getting in blue here, okay? The values when we, pipe, when we type in the different angles for sine. So 0, 0 is right here. 30 degrees is 0 0.5. So that'd be halfway between 0 and 1. 0 0.7 at 45 degrees. Now be careful, 45 degrees is right around here, between 30 and 60. Does that make sense? So it should be about 0 0.7, something like that, I guess. Uh, 60 is 0 0.9, so it's getting pretty close. And then at 90 degrees, at 90 degrees, we've got 1. Hmm, 60, 75. I'm surprised there's no 75 here. 130, 45. Okay. Well, anyway, what we do here is we can start to draw this. I'm going to start to draw it. And to save a little bit of time, I'm going to I'm going to tell you that this this curve is going to go kind of like a wave up and down, kind of like my pen is going here. Okay? Kind of like that. So what we're going to do is we, we're going to stop at places along um, the Cartesian plane. If you remember, I'll do it in the corner here. Do you remember this is 0 degrees right here, 90, 180, 270, and then back to 360 again? If you remember that, we're actually just going to stop along those spots just to give us some points along the way here without having to do every single one. Just because I don't want this video to bore you and you to fall asleep and drool on your paper and get in trouble. So we've got this one already done. After zero we're going to go up to 90, which was this one. Then we're, next is over here we see 180. So let's do that one right now using our calculator. Can you guess what it's going to be? It's zero. Okay. So at this one, we have 180 and 0. So it's going to keep going down like this. What happens next? 
This is the curious part. Um, after 180 is 270 along this pathway here. So let's type it in. What's the sine of 270 degrees? Negative 1. Very interesting. Okay, that is not a 7, that's a negative 1. It's looking worse and worse as I try to fix it. Let's quickly do that. 270, negative 1 right there. So this, this sine curve continues on, goes this way, and then we make our way back up. At 360, what would it be? Of course, you can guess right now. You could probably guess that it's going to be 0 because it's going to come back up. Just to make sure, let's check it out. What's the sine of 360? It's 0, just like we thought. Okay, there is our sine curve right there. I was trying to tell you this just to save you some time. When you do graph these things in the future, although the very first day you might have to do all of these ones in between with your teacher, but there's some main points. I often call them the five main points or five key points and there is a video that there will be for this later but these are the five key points. One, two, three, four, five in order to graph the sine curve. Okay and as we do things to these sine curves which we're going to in the near future in videos to come we'll still be able to talk about these five key points helping us to make our sine curve. Okay so I'm just going to use those um, those five key points, which are right here, this is cosine now, right here, right here, right here, and right here. I'm just going to do the five key points. So we take our calculator and we find out what is the cosine of zero. It is one. Do you remember the last graph? The sine of the sine of zero was zero. In this case, the cosine of zero is one. Next is 90 degrees. Cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Very interesting. And then we got 180, or we have 180 for those of you that are English teachers. Cosine, negative 1. And that one actually looks like a negative 1. 270, let's type that in. And cosine, we get 0 again. And 360. We're kind of back at the beginning again, so you can guess what it's going to be. It's going to be 1. So let's graph these five key points instead of everything in between, because that would have made this video extremely long. So 0 and 1, this time we're starting up here. Cosine starts up here. Okay, 90 and 0, 180 and negative 1, 270 and 0, and 360 and 1. If you can try and connect these five key points, we are done. It's not easy connecting these nice and smooth. I can't say I'm very good at it, but I've seen some students do it and it looks far worse than what I'm doing. Some students, um, so there it is, just so you know, before I go blabbing about what some students do, some students literally just kind of go like this. And that is not a sine curve, okay? They're not straight lines, they're supposed to be curved, okay? So please don't do it like that. Your teacher will be very upset. Uh, if you wanted to label your graph, you could do that though. This would be, y would be y equals cos x. You can just go to Desmos and type all of this in, but you have to make sure you put things in degrees if you do it in Desmos using that little uh, wrench symbol. I don't know, I can't draw wrenches very well put the wrench symbol and then you put it on degrees and make it from 0 to 360 as far as the x-axis is concerned and you'll start to see a curve just like this using Desmos which I often talk about. But for now that's all you needed to know. These are the basic uh, curves for sine and cosine. Okay, using a piece of paper. Thank you.